this is Marie at Twisted Bee Minis. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, I'm out here with my better half, William. And while I was gone, he put in a water line for me, for my iris. Me because we've been dragging hoses all over the place <laughs> to try and water in uh, some medicine for my iris because I have iris rot at the moment. Uh, over here, you can see like these dead leaves right here. This is all rotten iris. But we had to drag all these hoses out to treat it with medicine, whereas, man, it, it rotted really fast. If we could have just watered it right then and got it treated, it would have made a big difference. So next time, hopefully we'll be able to. That's right. put in this huge, huge thing. So how much, um, how much water line are you going to have to use, and where are you going to have to start at, William? It's 1,603 feet of one inch water line. And then my last 150 feet will be three quarter. It's all going to be pegs. And then I'll use the frost free faucets and put in seven. And then basically it starts way up there <laughs> and ends way over there. Yeah. So. And which, um, You've already got it in now. Um, mm -hmm. We're just kind of uh, starting the, the intro of the video. Yes. Um, and you, here in just a second, there in the video, you'll see some pretty cool machinery that I never knew was out there. But you know, you see how um, you come through and trench a actual hole to put the water line in. Well, they have a machine that actually comes back through and covers it back up and it stacks it on top there. That way it doesn't leave the, the sink hole. But um, William's going to um, uh, do a review on that and kind of show you how that works here in just a second. But we just want to come out here and show you what it looks like now that it's done which it runs all the way down here then 90s back over uh, to the uh, MU pin and which you've already tested it and it's good to go, huh? Yep. Yeah, it tests, it's got plenty of pressure. Actually, just... I think it said it has more pressure than at the house. And there's, we did multiple rows. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. And but this is one inch? This is one inch all the way down. And then on my faucets, I got pea gravel. And you put pea gravel at the bottom of your faucets. That way they'll, if they can't drain through the dirt, they're pointless. So you have to put pea gravel or something at the bottom to let the water drain once you shut off the valve. It's got a hole at the bottom to drain the water. You always got to make sure to do that. Otherwise, you're defeating the purpose by putting a phosphor free in. He, he always has these little tidbits of things that make life so much easier if you would have just known it. You have to water iris so little that it's almost not worth it to put in the drip at this time because they, they don't like water. Um, like, we needed it for this instant. We lost thousands of dollars worth of iris. So, if you just putting in the, the water lines if we it's not if when we'll get the batch of iris rot we can treat it right then um now with with there being two rows does it mess with the water pressure the only way it would really mess with the water pressure is if you kicked on all seven at the same time okay which just used a ditch witch and here your frost line is about eight to 10 inches, but I like to go overkill. So I went 18 to 20 <laughs> inches because I don't want to be out here in the winter digging up water line. Yeah, last and year we had negative, almost negative below zero. Right, and that, is, that is guaranteed when you're going to have water line issues is in the winter Yeah, and it's freezing. And I remember breaking ice in that, oh man, I wouldn't want to be digging a hole. <laughs> Uh, thanks you guys. Thanks you guys for watching. Um, the you need to put in. If you like hearing from William, please comment because that's the only way I'll get him in videos. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have any? Yep, we got him. Okay. <laughs> um, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to uh, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Hey, so this is Marie and William at Twisted Bee Minis. And uh, one thing that we're doing today is covering up dirt. William just rinsed it off. He put in a water line while I was gone. And uh, there was a couple of interesting things. What what do you like and don't like about it? What I like about it is that it, it is a good machine. It's way easier than shoveling. It'll take a three day job and turn it down to an hour job. Mm -hmm. But the dislikes are if there is a lot of heat that comes up next to your controls, that's why I'm wearing gloves. I never mm -hmm. wear gloves. But I have to with this because it feels like your fingers are cooking. So I don't like that part. And that's and then you have a lot of heat from your radiator coming out here. Mm -hmm. And then out of these portholes. A lot of heat comes out here, okay. which shouldn't be, but it's just the fan blowing the heat out there. So it's very hot to run, but it's an easy machine to run. Just... And it got it done fast, so yes. yeah, that's all. Yeah, because I went out and I was going to video you, and he barely had any left to done, and it made it pretty quick. So, so will you show me how you turn it on? And he has okay, with this machine, the way it's set up. Because I rented it from Great Plains out of Davis. Mm -hmm. They have a four digit code, which I'm not going to put the code on there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, that would defeat the purpose in their, their thinking. But basically, once you put the code in, mm -hmm. you have a start button right here. Okay. And basically, you just, once the code's in, it'll stay locked in for uh -huh. a while and you just push start. Okay. And it'll start. Okay. So then, in order to get your hydraulics to work, like right now, these won't work. That works the front end. Okay. In order to get those to work, you have to push this button, but you have to be below on your RPMs, otherwise it will not come on. Okay. Once you push that, now they work. Okay. One thing they don't show you at Gary Plains, which makes it way easier, is this button turns that auger on. Which button? Right here. Okay. So, in order to turn that auger on, you push this button. Okay. Okay. But, as soon as you let off the button, the auger stops. Okay. Well, after playing with the machine, I figured out that if you push this button here, mm -hmm. turn that on, you can push the button, let off, and it'll stay on. Okay. Which makes it way easier because if you're holding that button, you're going to constantly get going up and down on your desk. Okay. And then basically everything else is like the headlights, you okay. know, stuff like that. And this is your turn. It's, you know, you twist the wrist. Okay. You turn and then forward, back. Okay. So fairly easy machine to run. Fairly to easy, just hot. Very hot. I mean, you can stick your hand right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is hot. You can feel the heat just yeah. coming up all around you. Okay. So that is my only 
Only three o'clock complaint. And is there is there something to do with weight here? This thing or no? No, that is a safety. Okay, that's a safety. So step off of it. You know, that is like you're on off basically. You're on off, so you have to be on that to start it. Okay. Hey, so say I step off. Oh, it doesn't go back it won't and forth. Move. As soon as I step on, okay. I so, can move. all right. So basically, it's a safety feature so you can't run yourself over. All right. You know what's bad is I'm probably the one who will watch this the most just to try and remember how to use it. <laughs> basically, and this is what I was talking about on your hydraulics. Say you got it idled up. Okay. It'll show the thing. Okay. And you idle it back down and you can turn the hydraulics on just fine. Okay. So. Alright, if you have any questions, uh, let us know and I will have William answer them. Because I cannot. Is there a... I'll ask him if there's any tricks he can think of. Oh, so you can get all kinds of little...